What's up, peeps? All right, happy Wednesday. Okay, so new video schedule because I'm losing like half you guys and I miss you guys. So I promise you Wednesdays, Saturdays, I'm going to do videos, possibly Sunday, uh, possibly Mondays, but I promise you guys I will be back in full swing and I really do miss you guys and hopefully you guys miss me too. So first I want to get a couple things out of the way because I've been fighting with people on Facebook about certain things. I love you guys, but you guys know I'm like opinionated as fuck. So the couple things that I want to get out of the way first, let's start with Zellner. All right. I called the office and I did learn some facts despite the bullshit that some fake ass guilters like to talk about. Zellner has been in her own business for 23 years. She's been in private practice. In 23 years, she has not lost an exoneration case. She's lost cases, but she has not lost an exoneration case. On top of that, she is also the 10th or the in the top 10 of best attorneys in the world. Okay, let's think about how many attorneys are in each state, let alone how many are in the fucking world. That's a lot of attorneys. She is the top 10 in the world. So when people think that I say, oh, I'm losing faith in her, I'm not losing faith in her ability. I am losing faith and I don't know if she could pull this off. Not because he's innocent, but it's not a matter of, and I think there's a lot of confusion in this too. It's not a matter of he's innocent or guilty. We all know he's innocent. Well, except certain people, but for the most part, we know he's innocent. And being that he's innocent, you can't sit there and say that you know, that's all that she needs to get him off because this is different. She's going up against every policeman, the judges, the county, probably the fucking state. She has to go after all of them. And normally you would say, okay, well, all she needs to do is prove the test. No, that's wrong. And I actually didn't even understand this for a long time because I was like, okay, so where the fuck are the test? Why aren't the tests back yet? But the truth of the matter is it's more than just test. Because she can prove, she may be able to prove that he, the blood was planted. She can prove that this was planted or that was planted or, you know, they lied about this, they lied about that. However, that doesn't mean he didn't do it. The only way, she can even prove DNA was planted. It still doesn't prove that he did not do it. And logic, this is just me, logic states him and Brendan are not smart enough to pull off the crime of the century where they did not leave one hair, one blood stain, nothing in the bedroom or this place that she was supposedly raped, cut throat, gutted like a pig, hung out, you know, dragged across the lawn, hog tied. There is no fucking way these two people pulled that off. This is common sense. This is not, you don't have to be a fucking genius to figure this out. It's common sense 101. So... This leads me to why I'm hearing a lot of shit about, you know, that I'm giving up faith in Zellner. I didn't give up faith in Zellner. I don't believe that she will ever be able to prove that he didn't do it because so-and-so did it. And I strongly believe that all her tweets and stuff had to do with her hoping and expecting somebody was going to crack. And being that she is the 10th best attorney in the world or one of the top 10, I think she knows what the fuck she's doing. So I don't doubt her for one second. However, notice the tweet stopped. Everything seems to have stopped. And I personally believe that she just realized that she wasn't getting anywhere. So let's move on to plan B. And she's working a bunch of other cases. So for everyone that thinks that, you know, I gave up on Zellner, I didn't give up on Zellner at all. It's just time to realize the reality that she may not be able to prove what I think she should be able to prove or want to be able to prove. And it sucks, but that's just our system sometimes. Now, secondly, one of my biggest issues that I have right now is hearing that a lot of people are saying how um, they think he's innocent. However, or they think he's guilty, it goes either way, because of the sexual reports that were in cast. So I'm not picking on you, you know who I'm talking about. Um, and Rich, I love you to death, so I'm not picking on you either. But I think this shit needs to be said. So people have been innocent for a long time. They have been, we've known each other for like 20 months. 
and it's been awesome. But if you really think about it, we've all dug in those reports. Here, and I want you guys to really think about this. Here we're fighting for a system that's unjust. We are sitting here fighting because they got such a bad rap. We're sitting here fighting because we think what happened is wrong and that there's 20,000 innocent people sitting in prison that shouldn't be there. That's why we're fighting. At the same time, people in these groups, in innocent groups, are saying that they believe, in their opinion, that he raped this, he raped this one, he sexually abused this one, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. You can't have one and the other. And seriously, like, think about that. You can't sit there and say that your opinion, because your opinion doesn't matter in the case of the law. This is how he ended up in jail twice now, two different times, that he's innocent because the jury thought, or the jury based his cat incident because they thought that made him a killer. And the same people that are saying that doesn't make him a killer are the same people that are now saying, well, he did this, he did that, he did I don't give a fuck if he raped Kayla. I don't give a fuck if Kayla said that she sexually abused him. I don't care that he, if he raped 16 fucking people that he was accused of. The truth is, he was not convicted, he was not tried, he wasn't even fucking charged. You can't convict somebody when they weren't even charged. Anybody, I don't care who you are, anybody can make an accusation and go to a police department and say, hey, this happened and I say it's true. There's no evidence to back it up. There's nothing. You, you can't have one without the other. You either have to believe in a just system that says in order to be convicted or in order for you to, you know, be a sexual molester, you have to be convicted of the crime. You can't go on You don't have to go on a sexual abuse registry, sexual deviant registry, whatever the fuck it's called, child molester registry, if you've never been convicted of the crime. Just because, and I'll say it again, I've said it in other videos, just because somebody accuses you of something doesn't make it true. I don't care if it's a hundred people accusing you. It doesn't make it true. I have been accused of so many different things that were complete bullshit. I have been arrested for things that were complete bullshit. It didn't make it true. Just because somebody says it doesn't mean that you have to go the rest of your life being convicted of something that was bullshit in the first place. So whatever like you think he did or he's guilty of, it doesn't matter. There's no facts to back it up. We're not talking, you know, and no offense, guys, but we're not talking about a very nice, upscale, well-educated family here. We're talking about a bunch of fucking lowlifes, any way you slice it. So because of that, and I know people are fuming at me right now, but it's true. You have to think of who was accusing him. Obviously, they were molested by somebody. I don't think that it was Steven. Kayla, if you remember, said that her father sexually molested her, and I think he may have even been convicted of it or something like that. I don't remember the whole story. But we also know Kayla was a liar, and I'm sorry, Kayla, and I'm sorry if you're watching, but it's time to call a spade a spade. You can't hang somebody for something they never did. And I don't remember the dates of the police reports. I'm not going to say I did. I don't remember the dates of the police reports. But I know for a fact that there was no evidence of anything. We have no idea if the police, because we know the police were after him from the time he was 17 fucking years old. Scotty also said, if you remember correctly, that he believes that Stephen molested Brendan when Stephen was in jail the first time. That didn't make it true. You guys can't pick and choose what you believe to be true and what you think is bullshit. It's either all or none. And if I, if you guys walk away from this video, I can't stress it enough. That is what I want you guys really walking away from this video with is it's you can't have it both ways. So moving on, because I could literally go on that topic forever. Let's move on to my other all or nothing is congrats. Okay, so we all know Ken's my favorite person in the whole wide world, but you guys have to realize Ken is not a normal human being. 
He is a diagnosed narcissist. This is not made up from the heavens. This is not my opinion. This is fact. He is a fucking narcissist. And anyone who doesn't believe me, go look up narcissism. He is missing a part of his brain, the part of brain that feels. The only time that a narcissist can feel is when it has something to do with them. Ken Kratz used Brendan Dassey. Ken Kratz used Stephen Avery. Ken Kratz used the judge. Ken Kratz used any motherfucker that got in his way from him gloating about how fucking wonderful he is. That's what narcissists do. Anybody, I don't care who you are, anybody from Nancy Grace, who's another fucking narcissist, but she's not diagnosed, that's just an opinion. Any narcissist will use anyone they can for personal gain. So if you think that Ken Kratz likes you, Ken Kratz doesn't know what it's like to like. He doesn't know how to like somebody. It is impossible to, for him to fucking like somebody. He doesn't know how. It, he's got a severe mental illness that can never change. And I, a lot of lawyers are narcissists, but he takes the cake. Why? Why is he so much different than the others? Because most are not diagnosed by a doctor of their own peers. This motherfucker was diagnosed by a doctor in the legal system. A doctor in Wisconsin stated on paper that he is a narcissist. Do you know how fucking hard it is to prove somebody's a narcissist? It is beyond hard because most of them are smart enough to be able to maneuver that shrink and not get in trouble for it. So it's for anyone, anyone to believe that he's a narcissist, I mean, that he's a nice guy or that he's telling the truth, you are so sadly mistaken. Get it out of your fucking head because he will never change. He is a piece of shit. And anyone around him, anyone that doesn't see what a true piece of shit he is, I feel really, really sorry for you because he will lie and stop at nothing so he doesn't look bad. Same people hate Trump. You know, but why did I always say Trump would make a good president? Because Trump is not going to let himself look like a fool. Kratz is no different. So the final thing I want to say is that um, speaking of Kratz and Buting and everybody else, because we know some things have been going on, it doesn't make you cool to be part of their crowd. It doesn't make you cool to be friends with them. Look at me and Casey. I, we don't give a fuck who likes us. We don't care if we ever tweet them. I get a kick out of tweeting like someone in like, the, um, what's her name? Fuck, I can't even think of her name. But like the cast of uh, uh, Orange is the New Black. You know, when they follow a tweet or when, you know, I'll tweet some of them. That to me is cool. The lawyers of a convicted murderer who are making tons of money off their book sales and everything else and everyone else who's making money and using MAM followers to further their own gain, that's not the cool crowd. Being in a family group, who gives a fuck? That doesn't, that's not the cool crowd. Do you want to be a cool crowd? You really want to be cool? Read the fucking documents. Find out what the hell is going on. That makes you in the cool crowd. So that's all I got to say to you guys. Remember, next video is going to be on Saturday. Possibly sooner, but definitely on Saturday. But please, 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 guys, listen to what I'm saying. You can't have one without the other. Let's fight justice together, okay? So make sure you subscribe, and hopefully I'll gain my subscribers back because I miss you guys. But um, definitely subscribe. Check out my other videos, and I'll speak to you guys on Saturday. So have a great night. Peace.